All right, we're live. All right. Thank you, everyone, for joining me. We'll have our guest join us. She should be joining in a moment. Um, this is going to be a very, very interesting and very informative um, health webinar here. We're just wanting to look and find some new ways and possibilities of actually funding a lot of our medical treatments. I'm Helena and I'm the Lucas Liar. And in a moment, I'm going to have Phyllis join us. And she just joined. Awesome. Phyllis, we said you great. Awesome. And in a moment, she's going, we're going to have her share her screen and she's going to introduce herself and introduce um, what eFunder Health is all about. I thought that this was very interesting and really worth having an opportunity to talk with the president of the um, National. Uh, Nutrition Heals Foundation because there's so many people I get calls from. Folks who know me know that I work with a lot of lupus patients and I get so many calls, so many emails about, is there anything out there to help us with, with funding my medicine? Is there anything out there to help me pay for this? And then some folks choose holistic ways of medication. Some folks choose just want to get a little bit of help for a colonoscopy or something simple. So how do we really get that help? Because a lot of the things that have been really worn out is the current GoFundMe accounts, things like that. And some folks get a little leery about those. Um, and so Phyllis is going to talk to us about a, a one that's really dedicated and devoted and committed to the medical community. Um, I think that's really, really great. Really, really great. So Phyllis, I'm going to give you this opportunity to go ahead and share your screen. And you're welcome to share your video and let everyone say and say hello to everyone if you like. We can see you in the little corner. <laughs> okay, okay, here we go. I'm so excited to thank you. Helena, for in introducing me and, and giving me the pleasure to join your organization and your group. I'm just totally excited about the Lupus Foundation and what you're doing with Lupus Liar. What I'm not excited about is technology. So let's see how well I do. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. There you go. So now you all should be able to see my screen. And you just. That's right. I'm going, to go ahead and pull up. I'm going to go ahead and pull up a presentation that I have, and excuse me while I get to it for you all. There we go. Okay. Wonderful. Great. Excellent. Can you hear me okay? Just to check, Phyllis, you can hear me okay? Yes, I can. Can you hear me? I can. Okay, sounds great. So what we're going to do here is I've got a very brief presentation and the purpose of the presentation is just to let you know what the value is and the reasons why we built what we did. But what this is, is this is about covering your health care expenses there, whether they're conventional health care expenses, whether they're alternative medical health care expenses. And what we did over the last two years is we built an exchange that can help you uh, focus in that area so that you can get basically a seamless approach to options for your medical health. Um, I'm going to start by uh, giving you a little bit of a background. Uh, the Nutrition Heals Foundation was started in 2014 and this is a picture, I hope you all can see this, this is a picture of my son and I had been working for 20 years in the IT business industry and was absolutely brought to my knees as a mother to when my son was diagnosed with Crohn's disease and you all with a, a lupus background, I'm very passionate and supportive and I understand a lot of what you go through. The Crohn's, as you know, Crohn's and colitis is similar to lupus in a lot of its symptoms and it shocked me uh, that this disease that came out of nowhere was able to basically rip the life and the opportunity from my son and take away at a, such a young age his right to live a normal life. And I think you all can relate to that. So after many years of, of doing both conventional and alternative care, that's my son on the right. Now his name is Dane Johnson. He's the co-founder of the Nutrition Heals Foundation. He is in full remission and he's living a very healthy life. He also happens to be a, an international model. 
<laughs> so, so you know, and I saw that picture is not has not been ta- uh, uh, has been messed with. So, um, what what is the good news here is that we were able to find remission and achieve it. But I'll tell you what, is as you can imagine, it took money. Is not a- Excuse me. No, go right ahead. You're fine. Okay, I thought I heard a question. So what I found through this experience and what was important, the reason why I tell you this tale about the creation of the foundation is what I found is that it is impossible to get alternative or options for your health without money. Whether you choose conventional medicine or whether you choose alternative medicine, there are high deductibles now with insurance policies. There is, if you choose additional options, most of those options are not insured, therefore it has to come out of your pocket. So what I vowed to do was to create a system that would use what I could to power the foundation to help people raise money for uh, conventional and alternative care. So we built the eFundYourHealth.org. Now this exchange does three things for you, and this is to your point, Helena, why this is not like a GoFundMe. This takes it to a whole new level. So what it does is it raises funds for both conventional and alternative medical care. This is built for for medical expenses. That's the basic premise of the system. Here's the difference. Your campaign that you create can be used for medicine. You could decide you only want to raise $500. You want $150. You may need to raise $2,000. You may need to raise... $5,000. I have cancer patients who are raising $40,000. So your campaign, in order to give it credibility and to use the power of our medical community, your campaign is linked to your provider. Now you can choose a provider that's on the site or you can take a provider that's pending. But what that does is, and I'm going to go into the site and let you take a look at this. What it does is it gives you, if you're a provider, You get on the site, you get approved, and then a patient can choose you in their campaign and you become featured. And that gives the campaigner credibility for the path that they're taking and for the options and opportunity medically that they have in front of them. It it partners the provider with you, the patient. So whether you're a provider or the patient, it puts you both together. Now, your campaign gets exposure from not only the traditional social networking contacts. These are the the GoFundMe type. You go out, you can connect it to Facebook, LinkedIn, you know, Instagram, Twitter. You can do all your social networking contacts. It also utilizes the networking strength, the social networking strength of your provider. So this is empowering you and empowering your provider to help you and the provider get paid for the services that are not covered by insurance. In addition to those two values, the Nutrition Heals Foundation also has a team that uses our exposure into the community, into the passionate community that's concerned about medical expenses for conventional medicine with high deductible, high deductible plans, and alternative medicine. All, there's a huge community, a huge movement of folks out there that want you to be able to access what it is you feel you need to access. So we have that reach. That's where we go out and we start all kinds of uh, promotions for you. We go into social networking sites and we also uh, use our scholarship funds to help you raise money. So we can, I'd like to go right into the site, Helena, unless you want to have any questions at this point, or we can wait till we go through the site, and I can be happy to take questions and answers at that time. I think that's a great idea. Let's go through the site, and we can take questions as we go along, if you don't mind. That sounds great. Okay. Um, we got some pop-ups going on here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to efundyourhealth.org. And this is easy to remember, eFund Your Health, you'll find it. And this is the site, it looks like a regular crowdfunding site. It shows you a variety of uh, medical providers. It gives you a value proposition that when you help finance a patient, you actually finance the wellness industry as well. Both of them need help here. So this is how it works. You start your campaign, very easy. You choose your provider in your campaign. Now many of you I'm sure are thinking, well, I don't have a provider. I haven't chosen a doctor yet. 
Or you may be thinking, oh, I really like my family doctor. I trust this doctor, and this is the one I want to see. And that's where your provider is put on the site themselves. They get notified that you have created a campaign and you've chosen them. So they know that you're about to activate a campaign with them teamed with you. We promote it. We, the foundation promotes your campaign. Your provider has the right and the option to promote your campaign via their social networking acumen. And then you can begin treatment. You can, of course, begin your treatment before you get funds raised, but we'll also send you the money every two weeks that comes in. So um, that you're, you're obviously flexible about, about when you begin your treatment. So when we go through then the donations, go to different campaigns. Now this is a find a campaign. You'll notice on the left-hand side here, that I don't I do have lupus patients in here, but you'll notice that I don't have a category for lupus. And I'm, I'll tell you what, I'd love to build, I do have campaigns, but I'd love to build a category for lupus as well. And so that it's easy for people who are passionate about reversing lupus, they can go right to the lupus campaigns. But right now, lupus is in the immune system diseases. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose the immune system diseases. And hope that there we go. And let's lay, let's take a look at Robin. Robin is an active campaign right now. Both of this Jennifer um, is does not have lupus. She's got another immune system disease. But Robin, as you can see here, Robin um, it has a, a lupus among other things. She's also got a thi low thyroid. She's got a variety of things. But she chose to make this more mostly about lupus. And you'll see her provider. Dr. Conover, who is a wonderful doctor here in Charleston, South Carolina. We just absolutely love him. Um, and he is well aware that, uh, that Robin is fundraising right now. In addition, Robin has been featured in our newsletters, and we send her out to all our social networking sites. We have got about eight interns in the foundation from the public health colleges nearby, and they build social networking sites based on the disease. So they take Robin out to the Lupus Foundations and community to help her raise her money, and that's how we help support. Quest, quick question. So do the does does my physician, if I do this, is my, does my physician have to agree to um, be on there with me? Can I not do this without a physician? What if I don't have a physician that you know that just doesn't want to participate on this? Exactly. Yes, if you if we open up, there are a few campaigns in here that say the provider is pending, and that's fine. If you don't want to use a provider, or if your provider would, would rather not be publicized, then your provider says pending. The reason why we would advise that, let's say you've got a provider that you want to use, I would suggest you shoot an email or let us know, and we will approach them and say we would love to get you on the network, the provider network. We, you can see the right up here, the providers over here. Here is the provider exchange. And it's very easy for them to sign up. And the reason why we do ask that they sign up is because we vet, uh, we bet, vet and, and verify that they have certifications. So as of course here, we want to make sure that if we're publicizing a provider that they are an MD or that they are a naturopathic physician or that they are a holistic nutritionist as they are publicly uh, certified and that usually takes about 24 hours to get them on board but by adding your provider it's going to give you credibility basically it says Robin's got a partner here see and if you look at Robin's campaign here now Robin chose to make it this way she wrote her story and I'll tell you what guys just on the side note here Robin wants to modify her story and we help her modify um, in this option she put everything under her story but what you have a right to do is under your plan this is where you write, I'm, I'd like to see this doctor. I actually want to see two or three different specialists. I've got a specialist. I have a, I have a general practitioner, and then I have a specialist who's working with my practitioner. And then if you have a diagnosis yet, you're saying, this is where I am on my diagnosis. I've already been diagnosed. I've already been tested. Or you may say, uh, the doctor, we suspect that this might be lupus. Lupus is hard to diagnose. It needs, it needs some serious testing. And under this diagnosis, you may say, this campaign is about raising money to cover these tests. I find that testing sometimes can be anywhere from $1,500 to $2,000. And you want to, you want to clarify that you're getting testing done. And this is where you have the ability to put as much or as little. 
And this is where your provider can be represented as well. It's really up to you to answer your question, Helena, whether your provider wants to be advertised or whether you want to use them. I would suggest you do because it gives tremendous credibility. This is the difference between GoFundMe. This is a team effort between the community of experts to reverse chronic disease. So if we go, so I'll, so do you, as anybody, let me go over to the scholarship funds. This is another value. Now, uh, just a heads up, this exchange is just launching now. And you'll see we've got about 20 campaigns. We've got about, I think we have about 30 or 40 providers on here. We've got incredibly strong uh, experts on here. We've got, uh, I would say 60 to 70% of the providers are MDs but they're also integrative or functional doctors who are trained and experienced in a, a conventional and alternative approach. Um, so they've got a lot of experience that can give you a more full view of how to handle the reversal of your disease. So we just started these funds. They're not funded yet, but the scholarship funds are by disease. We are creating the criteria right now, and this is what's so important for you all. The, auto, uh, the Autoimmune Disease Scholarship Fund is going to be built from people who want tax-exempt donations. These are tax-exempt, and they are for, from people who are passionate about reversing lupus, passionate about reversing Hashimoto's disease, passionate about reversing multiple sclerosis, and passionate about reversing cancer. These, these donations are coming in from hospitals and from practitioners and from people who have found tremendous success and want to help others. So this is another way that we're going to be helping you right now. These are, we are building the criteria for these funds. So for example, if your campaign, if you have, if you have a lupus and we have a scholarship fund for autoimmune disease and the criteria is that you're 50% funded, or you've had your disease for three to five plus years, or that it runs in your family, or that you're on the eastern coast versus the western coast. These are areas of criteria that our donors are excited about. So that criteria will give us the ability to take those funds and move them right into your campaign. What we cannot do is provide a tax-exempt certificate to somebody who steers their donation directly to an individual. The IRS thinks that's money laundering. <laughs> so oh, we wow. have, yeah, I know. I'm like, what? You know, if now what we can do is the, uh, the, the lupus found, we can do a lupus scholarship fund. And we can say anybody who's had it for five years, anybody who has got 20% of their campaign funded already. So, and then it literally will spread it across across the campaigns, which I'm totally excited about. The Lupus Foundation would just get, you know, all the patients who fit certain criteria, who we think are closest to success, or who have strong providers uh, identified, um, and a diagnosis. We, the campaign funds would automatically populate their campaign. So the IRS has agreed that that is acceptable. And so we're very, very excited about this. That took a lot of negotiations with the accountants. So, um, do you Go so, ahead. And as I'm listening to this, so that means anyone would possibly have that opportunity as that is placed into the pot. But they absolutely, specifically absolutely, and they can go into that that campaign when we finish that criteria, and they can see the criteria. the The advice we're getting back is the best criteria to use is for uh, somebody who's had it for, um, you know, at least two years, and that it has been successfully diagnosed. Yeah, that exactly. See, but now that's a double-edged sword because we're we, a lot of times most of our campaigns are funding testing. So you may have been you may have been tested for lupus, but you may not have been tested yet for candida or for a pathogen or for blood work, you know, any kind of deficiency. Um, and this is something that is usually critical that you get tested or for thyroid or vitamin D deficiency. This stuff is usually critical. So even though you may have been tested for lupus, your campaign can absolutely still cover thorough testing so that you know which direction that you should be prescribing. Wow. So here, here's a list. If you see as I go down. Well, my privacy is protected even because as I go through this process, this is for me. But my privacy and the doctors and where I go with this is protected. 
Absolutely. And in, there's another level of protection. You choose to put up here what you want, right? So you choose to say that um, I've been diagnosed with lupus. And that's on, you, you can go to any crowdfunding site and see that. I've got cancer. I've got lupus. I've been diagnosed. We're in an emergency situation. Uh, we need to raise money um, to combat this. What you cannot put on here is your privacy, HIPAA compliant privacy issues. And you don't want to. Right. Absolutely do not want to. You want to say the prognosis has been confirmed that I've been diagnosed with lupus. At this point, we expect to continue testing for additional pathogens, deficiencies, um, other autoimmune dis diseases. And as you know, one autoimmune disease, unfortunately, begets another one usually. Hashimoto's, low thyroid is, is one I commonly see. So um, when, you, uh, when you go in here to, there's another yeah, level of privacy. For one moment, just to make sure you're still on your screen share of showing it. Would you mind just double checking? Got a couple of folks that they're not. Yes, uh, yeah, it says, it says uh, you are screen sharing. It tells me I am. Can you see my screen? I can't see it right now. Um, if it will, there we go. We see the PowerPoint right now. There you go. Okay, so let me go back over to the website. There, can you see oh, that? Yes, I can. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, so one of these days I'll, I'll get a degree in IT as well. <laughs> <laughs> so what this is is this is the list of providers, and we're just going down. You can see it's alphabetical, and these folks. Ann Baroque is a, is world renowned, best selling author. She's got multiple sclerosis herself. She's a huge expert in reversing autoimmune diseases. Dale Fryer is extremely good with the uh, pain, joint, uh, fibromyalgia type uh, symptoms. So, you know, I just happen to know a lot of these doctors, but you'll see all the doctors. These are MDs, and most of them are MDs that are in integrator or functional experts, and so they're, they are, and, uh, they are capable of, of giving you much more options to uh, succeed in reversing lupus. So that's why I'm really excited about them. So anyway, you can peruse through them, and you can click on them and read about them. You can search them by your area. You can search them by specialty. And they, when they sign up, they're required to put their specialties. They have to pick specialties, and we only allow two because we don't want them saying everything. So when you create a campaign, you also have the ability to uh, write in whether you want a private campaign. And then this is where, um, yeah, Helena, I was really excited that you mentioned this. Um, unfortunately, I have to log in. So I, I don't want to go through the whole new registration process, but when you go through your process, um, it'll say, what category would you like to put? Lupus? Fine. You can say lupus. If you want a private campaign, you, you click on private. And then the, you will not see, you will not come up on the campaigns. You'll notice here there's no private option. See there? Gotcha. When you, put, when you put private, what that really means is you create a campaign and you're usually emailing it. You, you, you don't stick it on your Facebook. You don't put your picture up there. You can put a picture of the dog. You can put a picture of, you know, if you live in New York City, the Empire State Building or the, you know, St. Louis, the, the, the you know, arches. Um, but then you send it to your relatives and your parents. Say, hey, I'm going to go see Dr. Conover. Um, I think it's going to cost me about, you know, $1,200 for this testing. You guys want to shoot it over. And it's usually very valuable if you've got a lot of people you want to talk to. But you don't want to be on a public campaign site, you know. I, I, I feel that way oftentimes myself. So that's your private campaign option, which I love. I love that. And it gives those who are willing to um, dedicate that time and those funds to that person. They, they just get a choice. Exactly. And the private campaigns, what's interesting about that is you can still choose a provider and the provider will still get an email notification. And that provider can take it out to whomever he or she pleases as well. So you can, you, you can work a coordinated effort with your doctor and say, hey, listen, yes, I'm going to send it to my family. I got some people that I think are really passionate about this. I'm just going to send it to them directly. And Dr. Conover, if you could send it over to your newsletter community as well, because I know everybody you deal with has lupus, you know, or like with, with Anne Baroque, everyone she deals with has MS. So, you know, it's a private, you can control your campaign if you choose private. God. If you choose, if you choose public, you're allowing the foundation to advertise it to the whole passionate community out there that's growing in momentum, and and also 
utilizing our scholarship fund, but our scholarship funds can also be used on private campaigns as well. And um, not that I know this answer, but that really gives it a different step than the regular crowdfunding where you have no choice for privacy. Um, and we may want to choose that, but it really Absolutely. is more of an opportunity if you choose to go public. And it also helps with advocacy and even more lupus awareness. But I think that's a great option to have the option to go private with it. Yes, I, I totally agree with you about that. I'll, I'll tell you what, my experience has predominantly been with uh, Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis, and I guarantee you that everyone out there knows the symptoms of Crohn's disease because lupus has similar symptoms, right? So, and that, who wants to put that up on a website, right? Like, uh, I absolutely <laughs> love Al little Chloe has got cancer, four-year-old. Allison here has got ulcerative colitis, and she chose to go public. Allison has got an incredible doctor in New Jersey. Dr. Rothfeld is an excellent doctor, is referred to us by uh, the medical advisor to Dr. Oz, actually is on our site, Dr. Susan Blum. So in her campaign, she actually openly spoke about ulcerative colitis, you can hear it here. She's a junior high teacher, um, you know, and she talks about, I'm, I'm afraid I'm gonna lose my job. So she, you know, for, for her to do that takes a lot of courage. And we were actually, there was not three funders here, everybody. We actually had to port these campaigns from an old technology. So they don't show, I think her campaign probably brought in 20, 25 donors, something like that. So she's a good example of where she decided to go public with a, a, a disease like Crohn's disease. I have to hand it to my son. He goes very public. He's a, he campaigns about going achieving wellness and beyond so i do hand it to folks who do go public they help others by doing that well let me ask if what if i'm if i'm i have several options that i need for my goal do i have to create an extra account for example maybe i need a colonoscopy like we talked about earlier but what if i also need a hip replacement so do i need to have two separate accounts to be able to try to have an e-fund to help me with those two no, no not at all in fact if you want if you have multiple areas um your campaign category may just be other but it's good it's a good idea like let's say if you your category is you're right you've got a hip replacement and you also have lupus testing that you're doing i would do the autoimmune disease because you're going to pull in the passion of the industry and the passion of the community. And in your story, in your write-up, you say, I'm, gonna be, I'm, collect, I'm getting donations for hip replacement as well. So you can put as many ailments and problems, I think on Robin, in fact, I think Robin's got three or four. Robin was diagnosed as well in her stories. You can, as you'll see, that she's got low thyroid. So um, we well, oftentimes we have many. <laughs> that's right. Uh, immune system yeah. diseases do. I love to stay in with with their friends. I, I hate to say it. <laughs> they just. Oh my goodness! How about pain? How about fibromyalgia? Oh yeah. You know? So with that, let me use this opportunity to ask. With that being said, um, that that helps with how often. With that being said, what if I'm not very good with technology and even writing about um, what's going on with me? You know, is there a, a service or someone that can be assigned to me to help me get that up? Yes, absolutely. We actually uh, we had little Chloe. You can write us right in this site. Contact us and let us know that you'd like to do a campaign. Um, we did, uh, we did little Chloe's campaign. I've got incredible interns in public health interns who help our clients if they are not comfortable writing a campaign. So we actually interviewed Chloe's parents on the phone, asked her, asked them questions and we built Chloe's campaign and they approved it before we went live. So we absolutely have no problem with that. And you'll see now the reason why Chloe's parents decided to go provider pending is because she's got three different ones and we are actively, based on their approval, requesting that they go on the site. And until we can verify their certifications, we don't allow them to go on the site. So that's why hers are pending. She actually has a general practitioner. She has a cancer hospital. And I think she has one more, a children's, I think a children's hospital. So I'm getting a but she has funding opportunity and I'm also getting some type of protection about what and and not to say that it's it can really get overcrowded shall i say when you look at a lot of the other crowdfunding um sites yeah. 
But this is giving me a little bit of protection to say this is really yeah. geared towards the patient's purpose. We're not just going to let anyone get on here and say, that they're gonna, yeah. you know, I yeah. think that's a very um, admirable. This is about reversing chronic disease. I did this uh, because as a mother, I was brought to my knees. In to, you know, this story still makes me cry, and I know everyone on this phone can relate that somebody had their lives ripped away from them and they nothing they did some yes but i'm sorry these immune system diseases hit out of nowhere oftentimes and we were not trained we didn't know uh in our american society how to protect ourselves from these diseases they're hitting us like a train and you know this is about reversing chronic disease um i it's probably going to increase you know it'll go to other areas maintenance and prevention but right now it's about sustaining and creating a quality of life and that's why it's important that you partner with the experts and you bring them on board and let them help you in every single way possible and the power of all three of us i call it the patient the provider and the passionate community the power of all of us to make to reverse the american medical dilemma and bring the money to those who need the resources medicine Alternative and conventional medicine should not be about how much money we make. It should be about our seamless option of an approach to reverse our diseases because we, we are in the, in the universe of people. We are a citizen in the universe, and that's what's important here. That is, I protect it. Believe me, I'm going to say this frankly. I can make a lot more money in my old industry. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, I, I'm sure all of us can relate. So if you're a provider, get on this site. So that people who are looking for providers can find you and we can certify your credentials. And if you're a, a patient, get on this site and let us help you reverse these diseases and give you options. You've got more options than you realize. And I'll tell you what, we all know it. with money, you got options, right? Right. That's, That's right. Right. That's right. That's exactly right. So um, do we have any questions for anybody? I, I don't mean to go too quickly, but um, there's no really other current questions, but I would like to ask how can we, and I'll definitely have this um, posted under the uh, re video replay for those who signed up, they'll be getting an email link to remind them that they can watch the video and watch the information. But okay. I just want to be able to let them know how they can contact you. Okay. Uh, so would you mind saying how they can best contact you? How can, uh, what's the first step I may need to take? Should I just go ahead and just go on? There we go. Awesome. There we go. I, you know what? Right in the website, you have a contact us. And um, let me, I mean, th there it is as well in this presentation, but right here. Um, you know, my web designer, Lisa, my web designer may have stuck it somewhere else. <laughs> but you also provided me with a great, a great um, one sheet with information yes. on how you folks get started um, in the yeah. community that I'm that I'm with here in, in my part of South Carolina. And so I'm so excited to be able to give them an opportunity to and give them options. Like you said, options. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Some options. Folks get a little nervous about using a lot of technology and putting themselves out there and and I'm really looking at the e fund your health because with Nutrition Hills Foundation, there's they're offering that that privacy piece. I know that privacy piece is just so important. And That's so right. many folks are they they truly want to advocate. They truly want to let folks know that lupus is real, but they they still have a little bit of reservation of course. Of course. Of course. Who, wa who wants to be putting themselves out there? And also remember when you do put your campaign out there, you share it with your community that you choose. You can just email it. Don't do Facebook. You know, as we all know, we're more successful if it goes public, but I absolutely agree with you about going private. Now, if we have providers on the webinar, just I would, I would uh, suggest that you get on the site and get approved on the site so that these patients can find you and use your services. This is critical that if you're an expert in reversing lupus, you need to get on the site. Um. And let these people know that you're an expert in reversing autoimmune diseases and with money, you, they're you're going to be you're going to be as a provider you're going to be able to prescribe what you think will work not what excuse my term here but what a a, a pharmaceutical industry tells you to use and so then the holistic piece comes in like some folks right. may feel that i don't want to use a lot of drugs 
Or I want drugs and other options. Drugs I want and other options, right, combinations. And I think this is great to offer me a combination because uh, there's so many different symptoms. I need a different, a different type of treatment for this and a different mm -hmm. type of treatment for that. And this gives you that say, look, look I just need you to fund my health. This is what's going to happen. This is what yeah. I want for this year, things of that sort. And I really love that. Phyllis, I can't thank you enough for taking the time out in your evening to come and tell us more about what eFund Your Health is all about. You being the president of Nutrition Hills Foundation, thank you. The credibility is amazing. The exposure to the financial resources is wonderful. And I definitely um, hope to help those who are, you know, those who are un uninsured. You know, that's right. You know, we do need these. That's right. We need, uh, we can't, we can't allow just those who have a lot of money to be able to achieve and access good health care. That's just mm -hmm. not acceptable. So, Thanks so much. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, so everyone, you're, you're seeing this um, last slide, the website, you have it, efundyourhealth.org. I'm looking forward to hearing some of your comments or getting any of your questions, and I can definitely forward those to Phyllis if you don't have an opportunity to email info at efundyourhealth.org yourself. Um, That's right. Info at efunderhealth.org or just go right on the site and go route down to the bottom and you will see the um, contact us button and feel free to contact us or start a campaign. Either one. There's the contact right there. Great. That's great. Please, please do. Please approach us if you have any questions or go ahead and start. Even if you start your campaign and you send us questions, we can go in there and help you do it. That is awesome. Thank you so much for this evening and giving us some great information. So yeah. here we are, efundyourhealth.org. We we'll make sure everyone checks it out. Thank you all. And thank you, Helena, for hosting us. You're just a fabulous organization. I certainly appreciate the work you guys are doing. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. You take care.